Here's something to think about. What are some of the most iconic Mario power-ups? Well, the first to come to mind should be the Mushroom, the 1-Up Mushroom, and the Fire Flower, and with good reason. The Mushrooms let you get hit a few more times, and the Fire Flower offers you even more protection by letting you take out enemies from afar. Mario's fireballs can do all sorts of things, like bounce and even be shot underwater. What? So how does this work? At its basics, we all know fire plus water equals no fire. It's super effective. Getting more into it, fire needs three things to happen. A fuel source to burn, such as wood or a Goomba. And it needs heat and oxygen. But wait, if a fire needs oxygen, then why does water put it out? Chemically speaking, water is H2O, two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen atom. Well, fire can't use those oxygen atoms in the water molecule because they are too tightly bound to the hydrogen atoms. On top of this, water is a very good heat conductor. It absorbs the heat and takes it away from the fire. But if this is the case, then how does Mario do it? Well, in order to find that answer, we need to stretch our definition of a fireball. You can't, per se, get actual flames underwater, but you can have something ignited and have it burn brightly in a flame-like way, in what appears to be a bright fireball. With this definition, we could say that Mario is actually throwing an alkali metal, potassium, rubidium, cesium, etc. These metals actually ignite when they touch water, so they could fit into this new definition of the fireball. But the problem with this now is that they would ignite before he had the chance to throw it, or even before he had the chance to take it out of his pocket. Also, the reaction is less a fireball burning and more akin to a... explosion. So what could possibly work in the vast world of science? There are so many chemical combinations to consider, you'd have to be a rocket scientist to figure it all out. Actually, that is exactly right! Rocket fuel! Now when I say rocket fuel, odds are most of you think of it in its liquid form, similar to gasoline. You have a tank of the fuel, and you have an oxidizer, something that adds oxygen to it. Then you add the heat, and boom! Fire, force, propulsion! But did you know that there is actually a solid form of rocket fuel too? that is pre-oxidized. That's right, solid rocket fuel is the fuel and the oxygen that the fire needs. So all that's left is heat. That heat can come in the form of a spark from pressure, from friction. Once that solid fuel reaches its ignition point, it catches fire. And since it provides its own oxygen, it can work underwater too. And that it does as we see here. A chunk of solid rocket fuel submerged in water with its temperature slowly rising to its ignition point. Then, once it reaches that temperature, an underwater fireball. Now, while Mario's fireballs aren't as fast and sporadic, I believe it is safe to say that his fireballs are in some form or another a slower burning solid rocket fuel substance that he then uses his normal fire flower power to heat up, then throw. But now, what is this fire flower power? How do fire flowers work? Subscribe and stay tuned and you'll soon figure it out. Until then, Noggin's blasting off again!